comic book animation fans out there, let's talk about Freedom Fighters The Ray Season 2. Yes, that is right. If you're a fan of the CW animation series, there is a second season to The Ray. I'm sure many of you are already aware of this, but the character of The Ray was introduced into the CW Arrowverse TV shows. And there was a short animated prequel series that aired on their CW Seed website. I also did a review on that season if you're interested in checking that out. The character of The Ray is based on the metahuman known as Raymond Terrell. In the Earth-1 universe, he came across another version of him from another world, who bestowed upon him his light-based powers. Unfortunately, though, the previous Ray passed away from his injuries from his own Earth, which happens to be Earth-X. Earth-X is one of the darkest timelines as it's ruled by Nazis. The Earth-X version of the Ray is also trying to keep Red Tornado's Cortex out of the hands of Overgirl, also known as Nazi Supergirl. The second season starts up directly after the first season, where we find out that Ray had been kidnapped by some mysterious people. Turns out he was quote-unquote kidnapped by the Earth-1 superheroes, including Vibe, Cisco, one of my favorite superheroes of all time, and the Flash and Arrow. He immediately puts his powers to good use by helping them take down a giant robot. Afterwards, we get a bit of a serious moment where his parents reveal to him that they know he's gay. It's a serious moment, but they also attempt to make it lighthearted. Unfortunately, this is very short-lived as Nazi Supergirl tracks him down to get the Cortex back. Ultimately, though, he does lose. He goes to Cisco and asks him for help to try to send him to Earth-X. There, he meets up with the other Freedom Fighters. We get an incredible battle taking place, and again, we have a Supergirl versus the Ray part two. And visually, I absolutely love this. I know it can't be done, but I think it would be great to see a weekly series based on this. They end this where it looks like it could be the end. However, there could be a third season. We don't know. Russell Tolby is the voice of the Ray who plays his character on the CW TV shows as well. And as I've stated in other videos and many other posts out there, I love the idea that we have a gay actor playing a gay superhero. I know we're only supposed to like actors who have great performing abilities, but I still think that it's a great casting with Russell. And the fact that his fiance, soon to be husband, Citizen and Cold is also played by Wentworth Miller, who is another gay man. So two gay actors playing two gay superheroes. Again, this is something that I think is absolutely awesome. The only problem I have with this season is some continuity issues. Originally, I thought this was supposed to be completely part of the CW universe. But in the live action series, when the CW characters meet the Ray, it seems as though they've never met him before. But in this animation series, not only has Cisco met him, but Barry has met him and so has Oliver. So I'm kind of confused if the storyboards got mixed up here. Or maybe there's going to be a third season where all of their memories are wiped and they don't have any recollection of meeting each other. Everything is quite condensed down into this story being that it's only roughly a half hour long. I so wish that it was longer and that we had more episodes, but it is what it is and at least we are getting this. Overall, huge fan of it. I am a bit biased though because I'm a huge fan of the Ray. I mean, you can tell from the costume I'm wearing, which happens to be the comic book version of it, but I do plan on doing the CW live action version as well at some point. I'll leave it at that incredible episode. Check it out when you get a chance. It's completely free. Go to CWC.com and you can watch it from there or you can watch some of the other animations that they also have available there. And with that, I'll leave you guys. Thank you guys for watching me in this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon site when you get a chance. Check out my social media sites, my websites. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Also put on the notification bell so that you can see future videos coming out. And with that, I'll join you guys in another video very soon. Peace, love, and I'll stay. And I'll see you guys later. Yes. I'm in love with a hero. Whoa. Damn. I'm really sweating this thing. If you're curious, I made the helmet myself, but this jacket was made by Textiles Tech underscore Styles Design. This guy is my buddy. His name's Lehman. He's a great costuming guy. The suit underneath here, this was done by Spider Bite Designs. I asked him to design this specifically, and I think he did a great job of it. Just so you guys know, you can Google him and you can find him right there.